श्रुति स्मृति पुराणा नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमवत व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ सहना सह नौ भुन सह वीरक वै तेजस्वी नवधी तमस्त मेषा वै ओं शाति 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 ओ पार्थय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुरा नम मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वामुसंदा भगवदगीते भगवदेशिनी <coughs> यम ब्रह्मा वरुणेन्द्र रुद्र मरुता स्तुन्वि दिव्यस्तव वेद सांग पद क्रमोपनिषद गायती यम साम ध्यानवस्थित तदेन मनसा पश्यती यम योगिन यम न विदुसुरा सुरगणा देवाय तस्म नम देवाय तस्म नम एम आई ऑडिबल Yeah. <clears throat> okay. would like to chant okay bhagya <clears throat> let's chant from uh, number 9 uh, janma karma cha me divyam janma karma cha me divyam evam yo veti tatvatah एवं यो वेति पुनर्जन्म पुनर्जन्मेतिमाजुन सोर्जुन वीतराग भय क्रोधा वीतराग भय क्रोधा मन्मया मुपाश्रिता मन्मया मुपाश्रिता बहवो ज्ञान तपसा बहवो ज्ञान तपसा पूता मद्भाव मगता पूता मद्भाव मगता ये यथा मां प्रपद्यंते ये यथा मां प्रपद्यंते तथा भजाम्यहम तथा भजाम्यहम 
मम वर्तमानुवर्तन्ते मम वर्तमानुवर्तन्ते मनुष्य पार्थ सर्वशः मनुष्य पार्थ सर्वशः कांक्षंत कर्मणाम सिद्धिम कांक्षंत कर्मणाम सिद्धिम यजंत इह देवताः यजंत इह देवताः क्षिप्रम हि मानुषे लोके क्षिप्रम हि मानुषे लोके सिद्धिर भवति कर्मजा सिद्धिर भवति कर्मजा चातुर वर्ण्यम मया सृष्टम चातुर वर्ण्यम मया सृष्टम गुण कर्म विभागशः गुण कर्म विभागशः तस्य कर्तारम अपि माम तस्य कर्तारम अपि माम विद्य कर्तारम अव्ययम विद्य कर्तारम अव्ययम सो टुडे वी विल डू 14 नमाम कर्माणि लिम्पन्ति नमाम कर्माणि लिम्पन्ति नमे कर्म फले स्पृहा नमे कर्म फले स्पृहा इति माम यो भी जानाति इति माम यो भी जानाति कर्म भिर्नस बध्यते कर्म भिर्नस बध्यते so if you recall last couple of classes we spent a good bit of time understanding this varna ashrama dharma so important important framework that our shastram gives to us framework for living our own individual life as well as how the society is uh set up any society is set up so we saw the chatur varnyam important so jati vibhagah karma vibhagah and guna vibhagah we saw these three so when we see this then we understand this we appreciate that this idea of brahmana kshatriya vaishya and shudra today lacks relevance because because the person who has the brahmana jati no longer is doing the brahmana karma and so on and so forth the the person who is has the kshatriya jati if he does kshatriya karma then that person seems to have a adharma guna and so it's all so confusing and what the shastram had in mind and how the society is today but the beauty is we can now appreciate how i can fit in that scheme of things how i can guide myself by that framework how i can fit myself in that framework and i can say that it doesn't matter what jati i am it doesn't matter what karma i am doing but what does matter is the guna whether it is you know do i have uttama guna or not that i can ask and i can always seek to improve myself which the shastram also helps so that is the way to look at it and we also saw here tasya kartaram api maam verse number 13 i am the creator of that that society the way it is set up i am the creator and then i am also not the creator tasya akartaram api so only krishna can talk like this and get away with this right so no nobody else can say these kinds of things but then we saw last class that how that how that is and uh, from the point of view of the world krishna is the author of the creation 
but from the point of view of krishna himself ishvara himself person ishvara is not the creator okay that we have to we begin to slowly appreciate that like the example of fire we gave okay those who are missed last class can always uh, look that up okay <clears throat> so now namam karmani limpanti name karma phale spriha iti mam yobhi janati karma bhirna sabadhyate karma bhirna sabadhyate so krishna is saying that one who who has who knows me in this manner means who has the clear knowledge of what is what is atma then that person is not bound by karma and that person is not bound by the results of karma both karma and karma phala that is what he is saying here in this shloka and uh, so he is extending himself to the individual and i am like this and i am the creator but i am not the creator and the one who understands me in this manner is also identical to me so like that he is he is saying here iti mam yo abhijanat like this the one who knows one who knows this fact like that he is going to say therefore this shloka is considered a mahavakyam mahavakyam means what a, any any statement which equates ishvara with jiva is called a mahavakyam and here we are going to see that this is also a mahavakyam let us see how that is <clears throat> so namam karmani limpanti limpanti limp lip datu in sanskrit sixth gana limpanti limpatah limpanti so lip means to stick to stick something that sticks so lepanam they say lepanam means anointing applying a paste is called lepana so here also limpanti means sticking and he says karma does not stick to me mam karmani na limpanti karma does not stick to me and uh, why because kartrutvam is not there atma has no doership no agency doership is there only for the ahankara so the person who recognizes the whole observes the observer and the person who says this is my body this is my mind these are my people the person who says that and that ahankara and we say we attribute that doership to the ahankara okay but i am not ahankara ahankara is me i the atma is not ahankara ahankara is me the atma like i am not the wave but the wave is water the water is not the wave the wave is water so the person who understands that like krishna and for that person because doership is not there and therefore the experiencer ship is not there also for atma and uh, experiencer is i but i am not the experiencer that vision that's a very important vision and so what happens in reality is i project my the qualities of my body and mind on atma myself i am the observer of experience how can i be experience and so that vision is unfolded here and krishna says that i am not and karma phala cannot affect me it says here name karma phale spriha spriha means there is some kind of a aching you know longing pining i wish this were to happen i wish i want this to happen i want this to happen i want this to happen. that's called longing and that's why we talked about longing the binding desires binding desires means desires whose fulfillment are essential 
for me, in order for me to say I am happy. So here Krishna is saying, Name karma phale spurha. I don't have any longing for karma phala. He says that. And he, so even the result of this war, Mahabharata war, people say Krishna knows everything. And I know the outcome of the war also, they say. But then I don't have any, any like or dislike towards the results also. Karma phale na spurha. Spurha na asti. Me, mama. No, nasty. I don't have it. And so, so that's why Krishna, Vishnu is holding the Sudarshana Chakra. Sudarshana Chakra. Look at that. Look at the way it is. Darshanam is vision. Sudarshanam, the vision of the whole. Sushtu Darshanam. Sudarshanam. Okay. And means complete Samyak Darshanam. The complete vision, not partial vision, not a cataract vision, but full, complete vision, clear vision, Sudarshanam. So, Vishnu has that Sudarshana Chakra and complete vision of the whole. And, and the world is rotating, constantly changing, constantly changing. And I am the unchanging Atma. And that vision Vishnu has. And... Uh, Krishna is saying, you can also have that vision. Because Arjuna might say, it's easy for you to say and go away, walk away. And I am this, I am that, you are saying. But what about me? And I, <laughs> what about me? And you are talking about yourself, you know. Like the person who always talks about himself, right? And uh, so you talk about yourself, you are a very accomplished man, great. But what about me? I want to become somebody in society. And you tell me something. Help me. So Krishna says, yeah, don't worry. You also, you also, if you know me, iti maam yo abhijanati. The one who understands me in this matter, in this manner, excuse me. And uh, that person also, karma bihi na sa badhyate. That person is not bound by action or the results of action. Okay. That is what is said in this shloka. <clears throat> Iti maam yo abhijanati. Abhijanati. Janati means to know. To know. Look at the words Krishna uses. Abhijanati. Abhi is a prefix in Sanskrit. Which means abhitaha. Abhitaha means from all sides. All sides means all views. Complete view. In any which way. All ways of knowing, known completely, without any doubt, without any doubt, complete clarity is there. Iti maam yo, yo means yaha abhijanati, the one who knows me in this manner completely. And he's going to explain more from verse number 18 onwards. Karmanya karma yaf pashet, it's going to come shortly, he's going to explain more about what that knowledge is. <clears throat> and uh, so that Atma being common to Krishna and to Arjuna, Atma being common to Ishvara and Jiva, Jiva can say, Krishna, you're not different than me. Your Atma cannot be different than me. You may have a glorious birth. You are taking an avatara. This is my avatara. That is your avatara. You are given a duty. I am taking this avatar, okay, Mr. So-and-so, that is my avatar. And I also happily do my duty. Like you also have to do your duty. And you actually said that, Krishna said that in the, uh, was it the third chapter? What did he say? Yadi hyaham na varteyam jatu karmanya tandritaha mama vartmanu vartante manushya partha sarvashaha Utsi deyu rime lokaha nakuryam ched karma chedaham. If I don't do my duty, utsi deyu hu rime lokaha. These people will get destroyed. Sankarasya cha karta syam. I will be the cause of confusion in society. Upahanyam imaf praja. Krishna is saying, if I also have a job to do, I got to do it properly. Otherwise, I am not given like a special permission to do whatever I want. No, I can't do whatever I want. 
So that Atma of Krishna, I can also, you can also point to Krishna and say, Krishna, you, your Atma and my Atma are identical. And I have a life to lead. You also have a life to lead. We are identical. Only the form is different and you are playing the flute. I am struggling to learn the piano. Okay, fine. All these differences are there. But we are identical. <clears throat> and so that Atma has no enjoyship, no Kartritvam, no doership. And uh, so that person who knows Atma in this manner, who knows Krishna in this manner, Yaha Abhijanati, in this manner, Iti Karma Bihi Nasa Badhyate. And so, therefore, this because of that equality, equation between Ishvara and Jiva, this sloka is considered to be a Mahavakya. <clears throat> so let's go back and look at the shloka and translate it. Actions do not affect me. Full stop. Actions do not affect me. Karmani mam na limpanti. <clears throat> Full stop. There is no longing with reference to the results of action for me. Or for me, there is no longing with reference to the results of action. Me karma phale spriha na asti. You can supply the word asti. There is no longing with reference to the result of action for me. Full stop. The one who knows me clearly, Yaha Mam Abhijanati, <clears throat> in this way, Iti, Iti should go with the previous line, Iti, Evam, Iti means Evam, in this way, is not bound by actions. Karma bihi saha na badhyate. Karmani prayoga. Badhyate. Passive voice. The person is not bound by actions. Actions do not bind that person. Active voice. Okay. Actions do not affect me. Full stop. There is no longing with reference to the result of action for me. Full stop. The one who knows me clearly in this manner, in this way, is not bound by actions. Which includes results of action also. Okay. Now let's chant number 15. Hemalagan. <clears throat> Evam Nyatva Kritam Karma Evam Nyatva Kritam Karma Urvairapi Mumukshubhi Urvairapi Mumukshubhi Uru Karmaiva Tasmatvam Uru Karmaiva Tasmatvam Urvaif Urvataram Kritam Purvai Purvaktaram Kritam. Yeah, the way to pronounce that is Purvaihi. So there is a there are two dots there. So Purvai Purvakaram. So when the two dots are followed by a pakara, pa. So we have to the pa is preceded by an F, the letter F. So okay. the two dots will become, will sound like the letter F. So, poor wife, W I F E, wife, you know. So, poor wife, poor Vataram Kritam. Poor wife, poor Vataram Kritam. Evam Yatva Kritam Karma. Evam Yatva Kritam Karma. Poor way rapi mumukshubhi. Poor way rapi mumukshubhi. Poor karmaiva tasmatvam. Uru karmaiva tasmatvam. Poor wife, 
pronunciation this one is called upadmaniya the name of that this sound uf that sound uf that comes in front of the pa when it is preceded by a visarga is called upadmaniya panini gives the name upadmaniya some 2500 years ago he gave this name to it so today we are recalling him means you can imagine what a journey that has been what a journey what a journey <clears throat> okay evam jnatva evam evam means in this manner knowing in this manner evam jnatva okay <clears throat> evam jnatva means in this manner knowing what namam karmani lubbanti name karma phale spriha and knowing the nature of atma no karma can touch me no karma can touch you also arjuna so knowing in this manner evam jnatva what is he saying karma krita actions were done a life was led evam jnata knowing this actions were led karma was done by whom mumukshu bihi mumukshu bihi by mumukshus and another nice technical word beautiful word and uh, mumukshu means moktum ichchu one who desires moksha that person one who desires moksha because only such a person can have this idea of karma yoga can have this idea of prasad buddhi can have this idea of ishwararpana buddhi etc otherwise otherwise it will be general it will be at best general okay and so mumukshu bihi is making it very clear because there what did he say earlier bahavo jnana tapasa correct bahavo so many people he said and those many people he is qualifying here what kind of what kind of people they were they were mumukshus they were seekers of moksha and when did they live purvaihi those people purvaihi they are people who lived before us before you in particular before us we don't have to say because krishna already he said i taught son and all that so we can't say he uh, and he, he he is in a different league so uh, purvaihi people who lived before us before you and who were mumukshus they did karma by knowing this fact this is what he is saying krishna is saying and uh, the fact is that that atma the has no volition no free will and uh, very very amazing atma has no free will but the human being has free will that's the beauty of it so appreciating that free will is such an important thing in our life and uh, so that person has no spriha spriha means trishna trishna means ishya Uh, sorry trishna trishna means that longing longing and earlier he said name karma phale spriha and uh, so those kinds of people who krishna had said earlier mad bhavam agata ha right in the shloka number uh, number 10 right number 10 bahavo jnana tapasa bhuta mad bhavam agata ha so that same theme he is saying here and uh, by jnana tapasa he said that before so those same mumukshus who were seeking that knowledge and uh, they did karma why why krishna should say this before you also they did karma they did they led a life doing their duties because here arjuna is saying i want to go away and this war is really not meant for me so he wants to go away so indirectly reminding arjuna that you know people before you also did this and uh, you know it's like uh, like these advertisements some medicine some ayurvedic medicine some chavan prash you know these you know there are some medicines 
where they will tell you they will show a old lady or a old man that means grandmother grandmother grandfather then the children then the so their children and grandchildren like that it goes and so that that video the advertisement is trying to tell you hey long ago also they were taking this and your parents are taking this and you should also take this okay and so that's the idea see subtly they tell you all that and then you say oh it must be a good product it must be safe for me <laughs> so krishna is using the same technique here and purvaihi mumukshu bihi people before you also did it and so you won't lose much by in fact you won't lose anything at all by by doing your duty and by doing your duty if you don't have knowledge then you will get chitta shuddhi and with the chitta shuddhi then you are ready for knowledge any time and you will gain that knowledge and if if you are already a jnani then what no no i am a jnani i know everything krishna all this is not new to me this is all old stuff if you say that then also then also karma naiva hi sansiddhim astita janakadaya i told you arjuna 3 one chapter ago and in the third chapter i told you and i think you are still busy you are looking this side and that side and i think uh, let me remind that to you <laughs> there are kings like janaka <laughs> ashwapati janaka and all you remember i told you that yeah so janaka was also a great king don't think you are the only guy who's great uh, many kings came and went before you and they did their duty janaka argued with yagnavalkya not an ordinary king and he still he could have walked away any time <clears throat> he was qualified and all that could have happened is some rishi could have come and said let's go away. but no he didn't do that <clears throat> he discharged all his duties and uh, so like that is there therefore arjuna uh, people before you have done it and whether you are a jnani or whether you want to know this uh, you 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 qualify to do your duty and think about your duty that is the message is giving here and here shankaracharya let's see what shankaracharya says he says na tushnim asanam na tushnim asanam you can't be quiet tushnim means silent doing nothing you can't be silent means you can't just walk away from this duty you can't na tushnim asanam napi sanyasah kartavya shankara says no neither can you just say i am this is not i am not going to do this nor can you take sanyasa that also you can't like that bhashakara is is elaborating on this on this shloka and uh, and so then he says here what is it kuru karma eva tasmat tvam kuru karma karma kuru do do karma do your duty whatever is ordained and whatever is is to be done by you at any given time you do that karma kuru karma eva kuru do action alone means what you don't at no point should you say i am not going to i don't like it now this like and dislike does not play in duty you just have to if you have to grit your teeth you grit it you you bang your head against the wall a couple of times and then come back to normal and do it okay that is the that is what is there and then karma kuru karma eva kuru tasmat tasmat means therefore therefore you do your duty and uh, like what again he says purvaihi purvataram kritam like the people who have done who have come before you have done <clears throat> and those mumukshus like those people not like any people you can't just invoke somebody like duryodhana and say no he hasn't done it therefore why should i do you can't say that because i told you mumukshu bi hi i didn't say everybody everybody i can't quote i can only quote the people who are interested in knowledge who are interested in dharma those people only we can quote here and so purvaihi purvataram kritam and uh, and shankara continues to elaborate on that yadi anatmagnya okay atmagnya means what one who knows the atma yadi tvam anatmagnya asi if you are if you say 
you you don't know atma okay then you should do for what sake atma shuddhyartam shankara says atma shuddhyartam karma kur but then if you say tattva vit chet tattva vit chet the knower of tattvam is called tattva vit so if you know the fact if you know the reality if you know the tattvam then loka sangrahartam karma kur do it for everybody else okay you are your, your your job is done then what then you help others that is the next best thing to do to you know, take care of yourself and once you are taken care of then help other people take care of themselves that's the only thing so shankara helps us here understand <coughs> understand krishna and so so here mumukshus can mean one who is seeking moksha and one or one who has moksha both that is what shankara says so can anybody let your life be led by people who have gone before you who have who have been seeking moksha and who have gained the moksha that's that's the message here and uh, and so so basically so basically abstaining from action does not help that is the bottom line here and uh, if you want to get something you have to do action that he is already said kankshana karmanam krish siddhim yajanta iha devataah he said so people know how to get things and therefore they are they constantly do act, do things in order to achieve what they want that we know and here arjuna is taking an opposite view and uh, i am not going to do and so knowledge i want knowledge so let me not do my duty no there also it doesn't help so not doing actions for anybody is not befitting that person okay that much is pretty clear here and uh, so <clears throat> so therefore now he is going to krishna is going to begin a new section because this idea of action this idea of karma karma here does not mean fate etc that punyam papam etc of course karma is not fate but it doesn't mean punyam papam here it means action and result very simple i mean very simple means what we are spending so much time krishna is spending so much time on this and uh, he is going to say why so much time is going to spend is being spent on karma he is going to say a beautiful statement next which we are going to see okay so let's translate this shloka evam gnyatva kritam karma purvaihi api mumukshu bihi kuru karma eva tasmat tvam tvam means you purvaihi purvataram kritam knowing in this manner knowing me within brackets me evam mam gnyatva okay knowing me in this manner comma even seekers of ancient times even seekers of ancient times purvaihi mumukshu bihi api even seekers of ancient times performed action means led a life performed action full stop kritam karma karma kritam kritam is a kridanta kridatu tapratyaya okay therefore comma tasmat means therefore perform action indeed kuru karma karma kuru eva karma kuru eva therefore perform action indeed within brackets just as just as it was done by those who came before just as it was done by those who came before purvaihi kritam purvaihi kritam in the ancient past okay therefore perform action indeed just as it was done by those who came before in the ancient past purvaihi 
Purvataram, ancient past, Purvataram. Knowing me in this manner, comma, even seekers of ancient times performed action. Full stop. Therefore, comma, perform action indeed just as it was done by those who came before in the ancient past. So look at how much how much is needed for a person to, to perform an action, perform duty. I remember Arjuna is not afraid of war. Don't think, don't, I mean, when we put ourselves in the foot of, feet of Arjuna, Arjuna, we should think, oh my God, fighting a war, how am I going to do that? We don't have to say that. War is an upalakshana, upalakshana for our own dharma. Whatever we are supposed to do is, is implied by the, by the actions that Arjuna is supposed to do. And so Arjuna is not afraid. He's not running away because he's afraid of fighting. He has a conflict. And so that is being addressed here. And so, so here now in the next shloka, let's first read that and then see what that is. Okay. Who would like to be next? <clears throat> yeah. Anirudh. Anirudh. Kim karma kim karmeti. Kim karma kim karmeti. Kavayo pyatra mohitaha. Kavayo pyatra mohitaha. Tate karma pravakshami. Tate karma pravakshami. Yet nyatva mokshya se shubhat. Yadnyatva moksha se shubhat. Kim karma kima karmeti. Kim karma kima karmeti. Kavayo pyatra mohitaha. Kavayo pyatra mohitaha. Tate karma pravakshyami. Tate karma pravakshyami. Yadnyatva moksha se shubhat. Yadnyatva moksha se shubhat. <clears throat> so you can say a new section is beginning here. And because there can be confusion around this topic of action and absence of action. Action and actionlessness. So the question comes up. Because actionlessness is an important topic when it comes to the study of Atma. Atma is free of action. Only then it can be an akarta, non-doer, etc. And only then it can be avyaya. Only then it can be nirvikaraha. Only then it can be uh, avinashi. All these things are possible. Only for... All these things come together. Together. So... <clears throat> So here he's saying, look at okay, it's very beautiful. Kavaya, look at that word, Kavaya. Kavaya Mohita, he says. Mohita, confused. And uh, Mohita means confused. Kavaya, who are confused? Kavaya Mohita. Kavaya is the plural form of the word Kavi, singular Kavi. Kavihi. Pullingam Ekavachar, Kathama Vibhav. Kavihi. Plural is Kavaya. Now, Kavi, when somebody says, the popular meaning of the word Kavi, you all know, means poet. The one who writes poems is a Kavi. And uh, the poem itself is called Kavita. So, or Kavyam in Sanskrit. Right? That's what, that's a common understanding. But Kavi can also mean anybody who has the ability to see. Dirgadarshi, who, who can predict the future who knows so much that he can see what is happening. Okay. So, that person is also Kavi. And Bhagavan is also called Kavi in many contexts.
yeah somebody was trying to call me so i'm wondering who that is okay so kavi has many meanings and kavi can also mean a scholarly person an informed person a knowledgeable person an intellectually capable person and sometimes we use the word medhavi for that medhavi such a person is called a kavi which is what is being referred to here by krishna kavi medhavi and somebody who simply memorizes something and reproduces you know what's memorized and many of our teachers i'm sorry to say but they never really taught they simply looked up the book and then wrote it on the board looked up the book wrote it on the board looked at the book wrote on the board they don't even look back to see all of us we have very great teachers but some teachers are like that so nice people but then uh, the that's not teaching you know and uh, so last week i gave a talk to a group of professors and uh, and i chose the topic of some faculty development program conducted by this university and they invited many faculty members uh, who had registered for it so i faculty development program okay i chose the the title of my talk was who are we what is the title of the talk and so i don't know if it confused many people but uh, so i had a lot of fun in that and i think uh, hemalata ji also was there in that session and uh, so this topic of history and things like that you know c- connecting the progress of the country to our own cultural and national identity that was a theme and uh, so i think it went quite well so in, i was asking i was telling about history and some of the facts about our past and so forth and uh, and i told them how ironic it is that somebody like me should talk about history and i used to sleep in the history classes and then i asked them who slept in history classes and everybody was quiet then i said i also slept in history classes then i saw some hands i slept i slept, I slept. <laughs> and then and then go and then regurgitate everything in the exam just vomit who mucked up and who who regurgitated for in the exams i saw a few hands they good i am in good company i said so so that person is not called a kavi that person is not called a medhavi okay and so here medhavi scholars so here here krishna is saying kavayah api mohitaha and mohitaha confused about what kim karma kim akarma iti what is karma okay and what is akarma okay what is action what is akarma what is actionlessness about this even scholars are confused you know it makes some of people like us who studied so much on these things feel a little good you know when krishna says this <laughs> and it says that yeah you got to spend time on this you got to think about all this can't simply just chant a few shlokas and then say i have studied bhagavad gita i don't work like that and so thanks krishna you know <laughs> and uh, so simply saying so karma action is there yeah i understand action we know we we know understand action but then what about inaction does it mean absence of performing action so somebody is walking and now i say i am not walking and i am standing still i am not walking i am not talking i am not driving i am not eating okay so many things i am not doing and now i am sitting still so i am not doing any action is that the meaning of inaction that is the question well you keep sitting still for a while let's see let's see how long you can sit okay then we will see whether the sitting still is an action or inaction after some time you'll have you'll ask for coffee or tea right the why what happened you you're doing nothing why do you want coffee <laughs> no 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 jay kumar ji it's not like that and it's, it's not easy to sit still that's why all this meditation and all this guided meditation and starting from sitting in the right posture and all that we do and so it's you know we have to coax our body and mind you know we have to coax it slowly we bring it Now, otherwise the body mind doesn't cooperate 
and it keeps on. Oh, my leg is paining and back is paining and this ankle is hurting and my God, I wish I had gone to the doctor that day. The all thoughts, meditation, this is all happening during meditation. We are supposed to be quiet, okay? And then, oh, I didn't listen to, I didn't listen to my husband, you know, and all these thoughts. I wish I had taken that treatment and physiotherapy and I did this, that. All when guided meditation is going on, when nice instructions are being given, all these thoughts are happening. Okay. So, so therefore, this, this idea that not doing anything is equal to inaction has to be reviewed. That is a very simplistic meaning <clears throat> of this word akarma. Like that, uh, like that, Krishna is introducing Kim Akarma Iti Kavayaha Api Mohita Ha. And you can't just take things for granted. Like the people, like, you know, many people are taken for granted that the earth was in the center of the center of whatever, whatever they knew that time. Some solar system, earth is there, sun is there, and the sun is revolving around the earth. For generations, they used to think that earth was in the center. And then comes Copernicus and Bruno and all these people. And uh, they say, no, Earth is not in the center. We already knew that long ago. But then this is Western history. And Bruno said, Earth is not in the center. And uh, he said a lot of other things. He said things like, oh, there could be life elsewhere also. And there can be many other solar systems like our system. And he said all these things. And he said, the cosmos is infinite. Everything is quite reasonable, actually. But you know what the church did? Roman Catholic Church, they finished him off. 1600, they, they had some kind of a jury. And then they first banned all his books and put, him, put those books in the list of what is called Index of Prohibited Books. Google that and find out. Index of Prohibited Books. And any book, any teaching, any idea that is a threat to the teachings of Christianity was put in that list and Bruno's books were all there and Bruno was burnt at the stake. Okay. So that's the, that's there. I mean, why did I say all these things? Uh, that's my karma, you know, and your karma also because you have to put up with me. You know, we are all in this together. <laughs> that's why I'm saying all these things. But see, the idea is that you assume so many things and all of which are wrong and the sun is revolving around the earth means what? It's wrong. Somebody has to come up and say, no, that's not right. And it takes a lot of courage. And with a lot of courage, all these people and Bruno and others have come and said, and uh, we do we have the courage to look into that? So Krishna is saying, Kim karma, Kim akarma iti kavayaha api mohitaha. Those people, those physicists and chemists of those times and scientists of those times who believed that the sun was revolving around the earth, they were also wrong. So here also, these scholars are wrong about karma and karma, like that he's saying. And tat karma pravakshyami. Okay, tat tat karma pravakshyami. Pravakshyam, vakshyami means I will tell, I will teach you. I mean, I will tell. Vakshya means I will tell. Pravakshyami, prakarshena vakshyami. I will teach it to you. I will tell it very well. I will make it clear to you. I will say it so well that you will understand it. Pravaksha, I mean, look at these Sanskrit words. And then what will I tell? Karma. That karma, I will explain to you. What karma? Tat karma. That karma, which, which these, these kavis, these scholars are confused about. That karma, tat karma, pravakshami. Te pravakshami to you. I will tell you, my dear Arjuna. And... Uh, <clears throat> And what for I will tell you. So both of us can publish some papers and some journals and, uh, and then you know, put our names and I will be the primary author because I am Krishna. Of course, I have to be the primary author and you can be the secondary author. You know, Those of us who have done masters and PhD and published papers will know this very well and we've gone through all these gyrations and there is always all these things. Some professors allow students to put their names first and other professors you look at their resumes their name is always in the first. Always first. And the students, always the last. Now, my teacher was not like that. I used to put my name first. 
first jayakumar then only reclitus and papers were always like that first jayakumar then only limb hc limb and uh, so that's how they were because the professors are already established they don't need to put their name there and the minute you see limbs name anywhere they know he is a giant in biochemist biochemical engineering the minute you see reclitus they know oh my goodness this is a reclitus paper and then let the student benefit from that you know and let the first name first author be jay kumar so what are we going to do this are we going to publish a paper on this no 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 yad gnatva knowing this ashubhat moksha se ashubhat moksha se you will be free you will be liberated from ashubha ashubham and uh, what is ashubham <clears throat> ashubham means the shubham is a beautiful word mangalam a very beautiful ending of anything is called shubham you know we say shubham those days uh, in the movies old movies when we used to watch they used to say shubham at the end of the movie shubham means you've gone through you've been angry at the villain you've been crying at the death of all your favorite hero this and that all has happened finally shubham all it's all ended well the hero has come back and the heroine and the hero have got back together and life is great ever after right so shubham so that is called shubham and so here also shubham means mangalam <clears throat> mangalam and uh, Shankara gives a meaning for Shubha. It says samsara. Ashubham means samsara. Samsara. So this life of life of becoming is called samsara. And uh, so from that samsara, from that Ashubham, there is nothing else that is Ashubham. And I did not get into this college or that college. I did not get that job, this job. No, that is not considered Ashubham. That is just part of life. and uh, we don't consider that to be a failure or a success and so ashubham when shastra says ashubham shastra is referring to samsara okay so ashubhat and puja swami ji also gives another meaning for ashubham he says in this case because the topic is clarity about karma and akarma he says doubts the nagging doubts about the things i want to know and those doubts are also called ashubham and from that ashubham moksha say you are freed from okay that is what krishna is saying here let's translate this <clears throat> kim karma kim karme ti kavayo pyatra mohitaha tatte karma pravakshyami yad gnatva moksha se ashubhat so that uh, splitting yat gnatva in the second line yat gnatva yat karma gnatva knowing that karma then in the first line kim karma kim akarma iti three words are sitting together there kim akarma iti then kavayah api atra three words kavayah api atra then last moksha se ashubhat the letter i is dropped because of sandhi but we must read it as ashubhat okay even the seers even the scholars seers are confused kavayah api mohitah with reference to atra with reference to what is action kim karma and you can supply ch kim karma and what is actionlessness kim akarma iti full stop even the seers or scholars are confused with reference to what action and i mean with reference to what is action and what is actionlessness full stop i shall tell you about action i shall tell you about action tat te karma pravakshyami i shall tell you about action comma knowing which yad gnatva you will be released from what is inauspicious within brackets samsara 
you will be released from what is inauspicious. Ashubhat. So even the seers are confused with reference to what is action and what is actionlessness. I shall tell you about action, karma, knowing which you will be released from what is inauspicious. Then bracket, samsara, full stop. So we'll continue this, the discussion of this new section that uh, Krishna started on karma, action, an analysis of action. Uh, in the next class. Om Pur Damadaf Pur Damidam Pur Nath Pur Damudachyate Pur Nasya Pur Damadaya Pur Dameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Pyonamaha Harihi Om